Welcome to Anthronauts, I'm Mark Thomas. Last time we talked about talking in Senegal versus France using Wolof and French, but this time it's a food fight. You are a hungry Anthronaut and you need to eat. So where's the food at? When traveling to Senegal or France, you may be tempted to eat only the familiar, such as burgers or tacos or some chicken, but you can get that back home. We are traveling to share culture, and sampling the cuisine is the tastiest way to do that. Senegal has many foods to choose from, including their national meal to be dished over later. French cuisine is, of course, world famous, so I'll try to keep our conversation focused. Remember, this is a competition, so choose your favorite cultural tidbit featured in this episode and mention that by scrolling down to the comment section below. So, we made it to our hotel here in Senegal and saying Nagadef to our host, now let's eat. Peanuts or ground nuts, as locals call them, are the top crop here, but we'll try to add to our menu. In the capital Dakar, you can find a local grocer known as a supermarché for your long-term dietary needs. It gets hot here, and like in most places in the world, you'll want to drink plenty of fresh water. There are also local markets to pick up fresh fruits, vegetables, and meat. My favorite experience is eating the national Senegalese dish called Tieboujian, which means the rice of fish. It is a communal dish made with rice, fish, and vegetables, and normally eaten together with your clean right hand. My friends here prepared it for me, and it is delicious. I'll leave the recipe for you at the end of this video. Now, as we discussed earlier, French culture is mixed with Senegal's identity, and I recently ate some samples in Paris. For France, we typically think of baguettes, crepes, and cheeses known as les fromages. The national dish here is a 16th century stewed beef meal known as pot au feu or pot on fire. However, there is a multitude of foods to choose from here. I stayed at the Muslim area known as Patin and I enjoyed the local selection in this neighborhood, including grilled meat sandwiches with a side of fries plus a soft drink. And yes, I did try a fish sandwich at the local fast food restaurant known as Le Quique off the Champs-Élysées. On this trip, I was in search of something sweeter called the French macaron. Historically, it was made by the Italian monks around the 8th century and eventually shared with French Queen Catherine de' Medici and King Henry II in 1533. They are two delicate almond cookies filled with a variety of tasty frostings. My personal favorite is the raspberry flavored ones, which I found nearby L'Hôtel de Ville in central Paris for less than a euro. That is definitely worth the price of admission. And of course, I will include this recipe for you as well at the finish of this video. In France and in Senegal, exploring local foods is one of the most satisfying cultural activities for you to experience on your adventures, whether in the restaurants, grocery stores, or markets. And the best part is that you can stay connected by cooking these dishes after you travel back home. I hope you enjoy and will continue to explore this second of four anthropological fields, which we call Senegalese and French food. So food is a culture you can taste both in Senegal and France. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe below because you determine the winner of this battle. The next round is places in Senegal and France. We'll see you next time. I'm Mark Thomas for Anthonauts. Thanks for watching. Anthonauts.